Welcome back to the Scout Academy. Joining me today is Kevin Loraff from the Missouri Department of Conservation to talk about winter creeper. Well, good morning. I'm here to talk about another invasive plant we have here at Runge Nature Center. This is winter creeper. This plant in front of me, winter creeper grows by sending out a, a vine and then sending out roots, sending out another vine, and this plant just kind of creeps across the landscape. It's called winter creeper um, for two reasons. One, because it creeps and can form a dense mat. And it's called winter creeper because it's, it stays dark green even in the winter when all of our native plants are, uh, the leaves have fallen and the plant is, is dried up. Um, these will stay evergreen in the winter. It is a really dark waxy uh, leaf and it escaped from cultivation and people use it as a ground cover in their gardens and their yards and in horticultural uh, settings uh, but out here it's an invasive plant and it can exclude native plants by growing into dense mats and excluding native plants and it can also even grow up trees. Another plant that looks similar to winter creeper is periwinkle. I've got an example here periwinkle also escaped from cultivation, also an exotic invasive plant, also with very waxy leaves that stays green um, uh, year round. And if you hold them right next to each other, you can see that they're very similar. As far as eradicating invasive plants though, it's, it's good to eradicate both winter creeper and, and um, periwinkle. Periwinkle will have the little small blue flowers and the flowers of the winter creeper will be very uh, kind of green, uh, greenish white color. Do you see the veins in the, the periwinkle here are not quite as prominent as the veins you see in the winter creeper. So that's another difference. Another difference is that the winter creeper also has serrated leaves like a saw blade whereas the periwinkle leaves, the edges are smooth. So two invasive plants, um, both of them, they look similar, they act similar, uh, both of them ones that we need to get rid of on the landscape. 